guys, it's Lily. So today guys, we're going to be talking about some of the common problems with certain LPS. And what type of problems, you ask? Well, we all love our LPS, but we're kind of sick and tired of their noses chipping. Like these guys, for example. Sadly, my fellow LPS tubers, chipped LPS noses are one of the most common things on LPS. Wouldn't it just be nice if all LPS noses weren't chipped like these? Every LPS tuber dream. So before we go on with this tutorial, um, I have a little message from Cuddly Buddy LPS herself. Thanks, Lily. Hey guys, it's Cuddly Bunny LPS here. So before we go on with today's tutorial, I kind of have an announcement. If you guys have known me since 2014, I've collected LPS throughout the years. One of my first LPS was actually a gray um, boy short hair cat. It's the one with the paw up. His name is Billy. You guys might recognize him from playing the role of Spencer from LPS Monster, Jack from my really old series called LPS A School Called Hell, or one of the dumb jocks from Boy Crush. If you don't remember, I'll play the clip for you. Yeah, that one. As you've seen in all those clips, he hasn't been in the best condition. His nose was chipped, his stripes were missing. Billy had just been through so much thanks to my 12 year old self that abused him and, well, I kinda, sorta, okay, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Basically, my 12 year old idiot self decided to spray him with bug spray to see what happens, and apparently, it just ruined him. But, guys, my troubles are over because yesterday I fixed him. And it's just a big deal to me because, like, I did a fantastic job on him and I'm just very proud. So here he is. I fixed his nose, I fixed his stripes and everything. I am very proud of how he came out. Just, like, beautiful. Almost like he's brand new again. Here's a side-by-side -side photo of, well, how I did. And I'm very proud because Billy's my boyfriend. Five years now, five years in the future. I love you so much, my Billy Bear. Okay guys, without further ado, let's get to cleaning. Cleaning LPS is one of the first steps in just fixing them. Soap and water helps with everything. If you have an LPS that has a bunch of dirt marks and stains, scrub as hard as you can. You might get some pleasing results. But if you have an LPS that you're afraid to wash, like not wanting to get a certain design be faded away, scrub gentle, but a little harder just if you have to. Either way, you'll have pleasing results. Take a look at this dachshund. This is her before she was clean. And after she was clean. If you have an LPS with ink stains, sadly, ink stains will not go away with just soap and water. Even nail polish remover doesn't even help. But don't worry, we're going to fix that. When you're done cleaning, it's time to paint the noses. A strategy that I like to use is putting the LPS in groups of different shades of noses that have similar shades. So that way, once I paint them, some, some of the shades I might be able to make lighter or darker. For example, Audrey goes over here. I sorted my LPS from noses that have a dark tone, fun colors, and a light tone, and just plain old white. Now it's time to get out the paints. I'm not gonna be using my flashlights because I've actually gotten better at fixing the LPS's nose without having an LED light shine on them. We're gonna start out with my darker nose toned LPS. <laughs> We're gonna start out with this collie. Always look at your LPS's nose to see what color schemes you might be able to use. Always check the color schemes to see what colors you mix together. Some of the color schemes might not be the ones that you want right now for the patch up you're doing, but it might work for another one that actually might need it. One example would be this Helpius Husky. If you think the color you made is going to match the nose, then go for it and see what you get. A light little, a little tip is actually use a Q-tip, not a Q-tip, <laughs> a little tip is actually use a toothpick and that way, well you can kind of see what colors you make. Even if it's not the exact, 
even if it's not the exact color, well, go for it anyway. And besides, you might get some pleasing results. Look at that! Just tell the colors you may be able to mix to make darker or lighter. Like for example with this shade I made, I'm gonna try to mix it with purple and see what happens. If it makes the color it makes the tone that I want, then I'm gonna keep it. If it doesn't, then we're gonna have to keep on trying. So far I'm not pleased. So we're actually gonna try black, and I've actually been surprised. Sometimes black actually might be able to be more helpful than I think. You can kind of see why I like using my dark shades first, because sometimes the lighter shades are easier than the dark ones, and the darker shades are a little bit of a challenge. After some figuring out, I finally got Kendall's perfect shade. It's not as dark as his, but it still works. What I did was I mixed purple, orange, and yellow together, then added some red. And then I took that color into this palette, and then I kind of added some black. I put little dips in first to see what will come out, and that's how I got Tanner's shade. But then, after adding a little more, I made it a little darker, and that's how I got Kendall's shade. So I am proud to say that my LPS that I figure having dark tones are finally done. Next are my fun colored LPS. So I'm actually going to start out with this one because this one I actually am trying to give a whole makeover to. As you see, my sister Lillian has a huge ink stain over her eye and her nose is black. So we're going to try to transform it back to the way it was. Now that I think about it, I think I, think I should have just put her back with the lighter tones. Because she kind of has the same type of tone as Lily, but it's more of a yellow, like a pastel yellow. Oh well, we're doing it anyway. As I was mixing this color, I was able to figure out Aubrey's color scheme. And here she is with her little adorable nose. Well guys, as you can see, I tried to cover up the ink stain, it didn't work. <laughs> so she's probably going to be stuck with it. But, um, it's just so weird seeing her with her regular nose now. It's just crazy. Once this dries, I'm going to be super shocked. watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please comment down below. And if you have any tips for me that you've learned, feel free to comment down below the tips also. Alright, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye, and before you go, there's only one last step you have to do once you're done with your LPS. If you guessed cleaning the mirror palettes, you are correct. Thank you.